विमोहित अयम जन ईशो माया तदीयया तम न भजता भजती अनतृक सुखाय दुख प्रभवेश सज्जति गृहेश जोषित पुरुषश्च वंचित विमोहि तो अयम जनु ईशो माया तदीयया तम न भजती अनतृक सुखाय दुख प्रभवेश सज्जति गृहेश जोषित पुरुषश्च वंचित गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट अधोक्ष भगवान टू डू द सेवा नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू डू द अधोक्ष भगवान सेवा एट ऑल एंड विदाउट आस्किंग विदाउट कॉलिंग दैट एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू डू माया सेवा एवरी वन इज स्टैंडिंग टू डू माया सेवा गौड़ गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट अधोक्ष भगवान सेवा नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू डू एट ऑल गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट अधोक्ष भगवान सेवा नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू डू एट ऑल and without asking without calling everyone wants to do maya seva everyone is actually standing to do maya seva in whatever condition they are put they cannot get out of the association of maya at all only and only that by actual swarup when you are getting that sadhu sang only then it is possible to get out of maya only and only वास्तविक साधु संग यू विल बी गेटिंग बाय दैट ओनली यू कैन गेट आउट ऑफ दिस माया अदरवाइज इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल दैट वी हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड वी नो दिस वी नो दिस सर्टनली दैट दैट ऑन दिस अर्थ जस्ट बाय लिविंग ऑन दिस अर्थ दैट अप्राकृत दैट ट्रांसीडेंटल वर्ल्ड that transcendental world that all those pure guru vaishnav of the transcendental world that kind of association we are getting with them it's very very rare very very rare to get the association of them at all but still prabhupada actually speaking to us that maybe this on this earth on this earth that transcendental uh, a transcendental world pure guru vaishnav that kind of association with them that it is not at all possible and is impossible to get but still that mahaprabhu at the time of mahaprabhu at the time of mahaprabhu when all those devotees of mahaprabhu eternal parshad of mahaprabhu they were actually discussing that about the transcendental topics and his leela they were discussing the actual seva bhav what mahaprabhu is having that is eternally present all the time that gorang mahaprabhu is that eternal parshads who they are that kind of leela or whatever that all the talkings and all the leela what mahaprabhu has done with their eternal parshad and the actual seva bhav what they have distributed and the leela katha everything that uh, that in the form of uh, granth it's actually present in front of us all the time eternally that shri chaitanya bhagavat shri chaitanya charitamrita etc all these are in the form of granth that's why prabhupad speaking that we don't need to lose any kind of courage in in the way of bhajan at all because that eternal jagat those who are eternally present all the time in that transcendental world that if we are actually with we are actually busy with the hari katha all the time of bhagwan if we are actually busy with hari katha all the time 24 hours then definitely we will definitely get that eternal mangal in our life definitely we will get that no kind of uh, no kind of problem will uh, come there at all whatever kind of uh, amangal or disappointment it cannot even touch us at all 
दैट भग बाय द एक्चुअल कृपा ऑफ भगवान वेर एवर वी विल बी स्टेइंग दे आर एक्चुअली दैट हरी कथा ऑफ भगवान दैट भगवत कथा वी आर डिस्कसिंग बाय द कृपा ऑफ भगवान देन दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल टॉकिंग्स वॉट वी आर डूइंग एंड दिस मटीरियल बॉन्डेज विल ऑटोमेटिकली गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड आर देयर इन दिस इफ वील थिंकिंग दैट द भगवान स्मृति भगवान कृपा एंड द भगवत रति वी आर गेटिंग that we can realize the actual bhagavat katha in that in that then definitely no kind of problem can come at all in our life no kind of problem can touch us no kind of problem can come at all it is not possible in this that by the actual krip of bhagwan if wherever we are staying but still that katha kirtan of bhagwan if we are actually busy in that then definitely this material bondage and all those material talkings will not at all even touch us that all those material talkings and material bondage of any kind or any type cannot touch us at all it will just stop immediately all those material talks and material katha will get stopped jatrottam shloka gunanubadah yatrottam shloka gunanubadah prastuyate gram katha vidatha jatrottam shloka gunanubadah prastuyate gram katha vidatha nishyapyamanam anudinam mamukshur matim satim yachati vasudev भगवत जी महापुराण दिस इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न देयर दैट वी आर एक्चुअली द हरी कथा ऑफ भगवान इज गेटिंग डिस्कशन दैट दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल मटीरियल टॉकिंग एट ऑल यू कैन नॉट कंपेयर एनी काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल टॉकिंग्स देयर द मटीरियल टॉकिंग्स विल ऑटोमेटिकली स्टॉप दिस इज एक्चुअली नेचुरली पॉसिबल that bhagwan and all the devotees in whatever condition bhagwan is putting all the devotees into he is getting happiness in that that in whatever condition bhagwan is getting satisfied by putting the devotees into that condition that kind of actual rules and regulations of bhagwan what he wants to put that particular devotee in that condition only all the time we just need to remain happy that tulsi das ji maharaj already have spoken jai vidhi rakhi ram tai vidhi rahi ho जय विधि रखी राम तय विधि रही हो सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम कही हो इन वॉट एवर कंडीशन भगवान इज पुटिंग अस इट इन टू दैट काइंड ऑफ तत्व अनुकंपा दैट काइंड ऑफ रियलाइजेशन वी शुड गेट ऑल द प्रॉब्लम विल गेट सॉल्व ऑटोमेटिकली दैट साधु संघ एंड हरी कथा just by discussing that slowly steadily inside our heart that kind of bhagwat seva and that pravritti will definitely arise and just by arousal of that pravritti in each and every condition that hari katha and hari smaran is remaining all the time with us all the time that kind of uh, smaran is there with of hari that in order to test that bhagwan Uh, by an unknowingly actually is just getting himself hidden from us in order to test us bhagwan all the time is getting into hidden form from us all the time for each and every incident behind each and every incident behind each and every incident if that bhagwan krip bhagwat kripa we are not at all uh, uh, thinking that this is bhagwat kripa in each and every incident if we are not thinking that this is not the krip of bhagwan if we are not thinking like that bhagwan ka kripa dekhne se if if we can see that it is bhagwat kripa then definitely we will not be having any kind of unhappiness or disappointment in our life all the time we will be eternally happy just in order to test us bhagwan just by uh, uh, unknowingly he just wants to hide himself from us just by his own will all the time in each and every incident if we will be just thinking every kripa every incident has some kripa of bhagwan then there will be no problem at all no kind of unhappy mood will come no disappointment will touch us bhagwat kripa bhagwan actually wants to test us 
भगवान एक्चुअली इट्स जस्ट वन काइंड ऑफ टेस्टिंग एरिना फॉर अस भगवान वॉन्ट्स टू टेस्ट अस्ट हैज जस्ट मेड वन टेस्टिंग एरिना फॉर अस दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड ही हैज मेड फॉर अस भगवान आई जस्ट हैज मेड वन काइंड ऑफ टेस्टिंग एरिना फॉर अस दिस इज एक्चुअली टेस्टिंग एरिना फॉर अस वी आर वी आर टेस्टेड फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एंड इन दिस टेस्ट इफ वी विल बी जस्ट पास्ट विल बी पासिंग दैट टेस्ट इफ इफ सम वन एक्चुअली वॉन्ट्स टू पास दिस टेस्ट इफ सम वन वॉन्ट्स टू गेट हिज टेस्ट पास of this material bondage so, then Bishop for him he has to associate with pure guru vishnu and he has to hear hari katha from pure guru vishnu all the time then they can pass the test this is the actual rules and regulations you have to follow hari katha just by hearing that slowly steadily the swarup gyan of bhagwan and the actual dham naam parikar vishisht everything we can have that we can look at that eternally and that kind of relationship with bhagwan will get manifested and we can just realize that relationship with bhagwan eternal relationship of bhagwan with us siddhant boliya chitte na karo alosh yaha hoite kisne lage sudhiro makos किंग ऑफ ऑल दिद्धांत महाप्रभु इन द साउथ इंडिया हैज जस्ट टेकन दिस टॉप मोस्ट ग्रंथ फ्रॉम साउथ इंडिया इट मीन्स दैट ब्रह्म संहिता बाय द गेटिंग द क्रिप ऑफ ब्रह्म संहिता by just getting the kripa of brahm samhita all kind of tatva gyan can get self manifested inside our heart automatically there is no need of forceive attitude at all and that kind of uh, eternal relationship when we are getting that with bhagwan we will be just finding our heart all the time getting engaged in bhagavad bhajan सिद्धांत बोलिया चित्ते ना करो अलस या होइते किसने लागे सुधीर मानुष सिद्धांत ज्ञान होने से जस्ट बाय गेटिंग दैट नॉलेज ऑफ सिद्धांत दैट टू गेट भगवत चरण लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवत चरण आई विल गेट दैट रिलेशनशिप विद भगवान इटर्नली ऑटोमेटिकली एंड व्हेन आई विल गेट दैट इटर्नल संबंध ज्ञान ऑटोमेटिकली माय भजन विल गेट इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन लाइक विंड previously i was actually discussing previous week i have just come up to this point in brahma samhita that what is that that is that uh, this brahma samhita 16 number shlok which i was discussing on previous week there actually i have just up till, up till now that shrishti tattva that creation tattva how garbodak how garbodak shai mahavishnu from them that satora jyotama gun that kind of three guns Adi Dev Roop, Prajapati, Vishnu, and Rudra. They have just got manifested from them. Garbodha Shai Mahavishnu. And after that, the jivas and they are getting the uh, creation and the actual relationship of the jivas with the the creation. And after that, when you will go forward, we will be discussing it in more details. That Vishnu Nabi Pad Padma. That from the navel portion of the Vishnu. that brahma ji just got manifested and after that the creation just got started that brahma vishnu and mahesh that under their three guidance of the three shakti that under the guidance of brahma that under the guidance of krishna saidya kam beej kam gayatri kam beej kam beej and krishna mantra he just got that brahma ji from bhagwan and we are actually discussing the 16 number shlok that time ankaratmakam visham tasmat etat bajayata ahankaratmak ahankaratmakam visham tasmat etat bajayata 
means it means that that's why tasmat means that having some relationship by that relationship that kind of false ego who is the actual uh, predominant uh, deity of that false ego that it is actually coming from shambhu it means that ahankaratmak that false ego tat is actually coming from the ahankaratmak swarup it is actually getting manifested from shambhu hey, what does it mean actually that it means that in relationship to all the jivas in relationship to all the jivas that shambhu is actually that shankar the actual process of shankar is that that this shambhu from the this same shambhu that ahankaratmak false ego tat it is actually getting manifested and is actually spoken here in uh, relation to shankar what does it mean actually that who is actually behind shambhu that who is someone is actually behind shambhu the original source that someone is there behind shambhu yes definitely that already i have spoken this point before that from this mahavishnu and sadashiv it is all the same tatva it is not different from each other but still mahavishnu we are actually that from mahavishnu sadashiv And from mahavishnu how actually sadashiv getting manifested this i have already told you before that from mahavishnu how actually the manifestation of sadashiv god i have already told you regarding that and uh, above that that in golok dham ja chaturvyuha that after that square chaturvyuha that vasudev sankarshan pradyumna sankarshan and anirudh four chaturvyuha are there this sank from this sankarshan that this chaturvyuha is getting manifested that inside this chaturvyuha also inside the chaturvyuha also i have already told you that inside the chaturvyuha that vasudev anirudh sankarshan and Prad- pradyuman vasudev vasudev sankarshan वासुदेव प्रद्युम्न अनिरुद्ध संकर्षण और आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड द चतुर्व्यूह टू यू एंड आई जस्ट वांट टू स्पीक दिस पॉइंट अगेन दैट दिस संकर्षण दैट फ्रॉम वेयर महाविष्णु हैज मैनिफेस्टेड दैट हु इज द एक्चुअल कॉज हु इज एक्चुअली देयर इन द कारण ओशन एंड दैट ट्रांसेंडेंटल कारण ओशन ही इज एक्चुअली इन दैट ओशन ही इज एक्चुअली लाइंग इन दैट कारण ओशन ही इज एक्चुअली देयर इन द स्लीपिंग form that is mahavishnu i have already told you shishit kalam athavalambo jivanti lom vilaya jagadannu natha vishnu mahan sa iho yo sukala visheshu govinda madi purusham tamam phir and after that this mahav same mahavishnu that each and each hair for itself of mahavishnu there is infinity brahmand available there infinity brahmand that infinity hair follicle of uh, mahavishnu that infinity brahmand is there in the mahavishnu each and every brahmand is there in mahavishnu and this uh, this karnana dakshai mahavishnu is actually is there in each and every single brahmand is getting manifested there and uh, he just by taking the name of garbo dakshai mahavishnu is getting manifested in each and every brahmand and and garbo dakshai mahavishnu about that that tattva gyan it is very much important to know about this tattva gyan otherwise that if there is some kind of fault or errors remaining in the tattva gyan then you can't know the actual tattva the other way is also there that whether he knows tattva gyan or not it doesn't mean but any any how he should get prema towards krishna that any time any time with krishna we should get that relationship and prem 
that all those lower caste people also they don't know any kind of tattva gyan at all but still they have get that kind of prema with bhagwan and this vidhi marg that kind of tattva gyan that siddhant vichar if is getting fixed and then in the forward direction the forward path we will be getting prema towards krishna definitely then garbhodakshay mishnu is automatically manifested there and after that shirodakshay mahavishnu he is there in each and every jiva he is getting in the in, inside every jiva in the form of parmatma inside every jiva in the mool shlok it is only written up till this point the actual shlok mool shlok this ahankaratmak vishwam that actual mool shloka what's written there this actually definitely getting manifested from shankar shambhu only that ahankaratmak this shloka because their ahankaratmak vishay it is actually there why because in each and every in each and every space that uh, that false ego tattv is there that ego tattv is there that the mool as uh, the actual conclusion is that out of this the actual mool tattv the actual conclusive tattv that shiv tattv the actual tattv of that shiv tattv before i have already told you that vishnu this mahavishnu this vishnu mool tattv in bhagavat tattv that which is actually free from all the kind of ego egoistic tattv that mool tattv what it is there that in this mool tattv inside this mool tattv inside this mool tattv bhagavat tattv that kind of uh, trans transformable uh, kind of ego is definitely no kind of uh, difference differentiation of egoistic mood is not at all there there is no kind of uh, rajo tamogun at all there is no touch at all no transformation of egoistic bhav and in this material world that uh, that kind of uh, non different uh, shambhu ling that kind of manifestation of shambhu ling in this material world what we can see the ling that in non different swarup of mahavishnu that lok of uh, ling swarup it is actually manifested how it is getting manifested there in this material world that's the question this actually getting manifestation of shambhu ling it is just by the actual transformation of shuddha satya how actually it's possible this is actually the that shuddha satva that actual shadow of that shuddha satva what we can uh, find perverted reflection it is coming in the form of adi shambhu that kind of adi shambhu swarup it is coming that just having that perverted reflection we can find it on this material creation that kind of adi shambhu we can find and at that same time that shambhu is only is actually upadan tattva at that time at that time shambhu is only that drav upadhatmak upadan tattva upadan karan because for the srishti creation tattva that upadan and cause and effect both are actually important or both cause and effect is very much important for the creation nimitta and upadan karan and after that at that time that kind of tattva is getting transformed that uh, slowly steadily development of mahatattva we can see gradually when it is getting unfolded in front of us that our that our mahatattva it is getting manifested it is getting manifested slowly steadily gradually it is getting manifested in the gradual proportional pros- procedure we are getting made, seeing the manifestation of mahatattva how satorajo tamogun get manifested and how we can get the adhikar of rajogun satogun and tamogun slowly steadily how it is getting manifested in front of one and panchatantra and five elements and five sense material sense organs getting from the five elements so the what is actually getting in front of us about this it is actually already told about this 
that at that time that tattva vikas slowly steadily in the gradual proportional procedure that uh, actual conclusive tattva is getting uh, unfolded then e- each and every swarup garbhodha shai mahavishnu is getting manifested in that time at so similarly at the same time that i from the eyebrows from the from the two eyebrows of uh, mahavishnu that brahma ji and that brahma ji is getting from the navel portion and from the eyebrows portion sh- shiva uh, shambhu tattva is getting manifested from there that slowly steadily when the conclusive tattva siddhant is getting manifested each and every tattva siddhant is getting manifested we can see that and at that that from the right and the left eyebrow in between those two portions that shambhu tattva also in that that kind of transformation of the rudra tattva we can manifest manifestation of rudra tattva we can see that so whatever be the case that mool tattva or bhudesh it means that from the left or the light uh, right eyebrow that shambhu tattva whatever is getting manifestation from mahavishnu we can see in each and every in each and every condition and whatever condition is there shambhu tattva all the time that kind of ahankaratmak manifestation that egoistic tattva will get manifested in shambhu tattva internally bhole bhava is paramhans from inside but still externally he is showing that egoistic tattva that shambhu tattva in each and every condition in each and every condition it is manifesting that ego false ego tattva maybe in bhagwa ji mahapurana it is already written there when shankar bhagwan by his own will that just becoming the actual uh, uh, by the actual kripa of bhagwan he is getting the role of uh, tamagun and that kind of false ego of tamagun he is getting the duty as a re- presiding deity of that tamagun he is getting the becoming the presiding deity of that tamagun externally he is thinking we can see that he is tamasic he is uh, he is very rajasic externally we can see shambhu but internally actually he is topmost paramhans this is actually topmost point to understand that shambhu tattva in each and every condition shambhu tattva that kind of false ego he false ego tattva in each and every condition it is coming coming from the paramatma from the it is actually manifesting from the chid uh, kiran that from the transcendental beam of light it is getting manifested from the transcendental uh, beam of light of infinity jivas are getting inside the womb of uh, if someone actually all the jivas are thinking that we are bhagwat das we are krishna nitya das from the transcendental tathashta shakti of bhagwan that chit kan infinity jivas are getting manifested and if they can understand that we are actually bhagwan das this kind of false ego this kind of actual ego they can get that i am actually krishna das then they will be having no kind of uh, uh, sambandh with the uh, material world at all definitely the uh, relationship with material world will get destroyed completely so these are actually they are becoming the vaikunt tattva they are becoming vaikunt tattva they can go to vaikunt immediately automatically and by just same fo- ego if they will just uh, they will forget this ego that i am not uh, and i am krishna das if they are forgetting this point and they are actually want to enjoy they want to do the sar- the servantship of maya devi that dhanam dehi janam dehi just give me money just give me material enjoyment if they want like this that i need of name fame position and nice place a nice girl nice woman i need a nice flats and on good marriage i want everything we are required when 
I know that is it. I am Krishna Das. This kind of enjoying mood towards Maya. I want to become the master of Maya. That I want to become the servant of Maya. Want to do servantship of Maya at that time. That Shambhu Tattva. That Ahankar Tattva. That Ego Tattva. It is actually definitely is getting into that Sattva. Sattva. And each and every uh, kind of egoistic uh, introduction that it will just get manifested inside each and every one. That kind of prithak tattva can get manifested. Means that shankar tattva ultimately for each and every individual atma or uh, atma according to their own uh, ego, according to their own degree of ego, they will be just manifesting different kind of situation and condition. They want to understand that. So this, that I am Krishna Das, this kind of ego, when they are actually, re, actually uh, removing and they want to become the servant of Maya Devi. So this kind of Ankar Tattva of Shambhu, that Tamsik Tattva of Shambhu, that will get automatically manifested and it will just get manifested in the Satta of all the Jeevas and different different kind of identity each and every Jeeva will be finding inside them. According to that, different different kind of bhakti tattva they are getting. So that's why in this on in this material world, that so much enjoying mood is there present. All actually want to enjoy. Day and night they just want to enjoy. That's it. Day and night they want to enjoy. Apart from enjoying mood, they don't need to do anything else. All day and night they want to enjoy. That's it. Material things. Those who are who at up till what. name fame position money they are collecting and all kind of position name fame how much they want to enjoy and how much they can get in their life this degree and what kind of position and fame they can get in their life this kind of competition is going on in each and every one that's it they actually just forgot this point that we definitely have to die one day they are actually just uh, forgetting this point they have so much uh, beautiful uh, manifestation of maya that so uh, nice manifestation and arrangement of maya we can see we can see such a nice arrangement of maya such a big arrangement done by maya for us that for each and every individual is just forgetting this point that i am the actual nityadas of bhagwan maya devi just will forget this point that's it we it we, we cannot understand this point at all we will just forget this point so this shambhu tattva this actually uh, that from the egoistic tattva it is getting manifested means from the mahavishnu it is getting manifested that in the jeevas that kind of material that kind of um, materialistic conception that i am this body this is just getting manifested from the shambhu tattva only that is the actual rules what to do and slowly steadily just by knowing the actual thing that ego the actual ego will definitely false ego will get definitely get destroyed and the actual ego will get manifested that i am the nitya krishna das and after that the 17th number shlok is there what actually it's written here it means after that that about this just by discussing this now the actual question is coming regarding this that this vichar is coming what is that what kind of vichar is coming अथो 
What does it mean actually? That that for infinity after that that whole material world, infinity world is actually unstable. And I also have to leave this body. I have to go one day. And nobody wants to stop that. Nobody can stop this at that, stop this at all. So this material world is just like that, it's unstable. Just have to come and just need to go. We are actually all guests here. Or sometimes we just need to have come here and after that we have to leave the water so Naraji Maharaj actually speaking to Vyasdev Goswami Maharaj mother father sister children friends relatives everyone Every relationship is there definitely. This Shambhu Tattva, by that Shambhu Tattva, it is getting manifested. This relationship, this is my child. Just by Shambhu Tattva only. This is my, this is my wife. This is just by the actual grip of Shambhu Tattva we can understand. If you can understand it correctly, then I will speak that inside our heart, that uh, no kind of uh, desire, material desire or lust is there at all. That someone can do something? No, not at all. Nothing is there. All those material things, nothing is there at all. If someone wants to do something, no, 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 no one can do anything at all. Nobody wants to do anything at all. This kind of false ego, this, I am doing this, this I and mind conception, that I am have this kind of degree, that I am doctorate, I am a scientist, this kind of false ego when I am having, by this uh, false ego, it, each and every person is getting uh, into their own work, titled work. It is very much uh, uh, amazed to see that a person for his whole life, a person for his whole life, he is just uh, cutting the uh, hairs of all the other persons as a barber. He is just cutting the hairs of all other. Whole, whole life he has just, every his whole young life is just gone in just cutting the hairs of others, people. Some people are also like that, that in the grocery shop they are sitting and he is giving a rice and dal, it is measuring it and his whole life is gone in that. <laughs> and uh, he don't know any this kind of information that how his life is actually going away and how his age is actually getting deformed. He can't understand this uh, Siddhant Vichar. Everyone is actually in... Uh, uh, def he, everyone is in uh, one kind of uh, uh, if they have this kind of consciousness regarding bhajan then it will be very good everyone is actually drunkard I know one person tanning he just want to tan his skin that just when we tan our skin that kind of tanning of skin his whole life is just uh, gone in that only in tanning the skin only you see someone actually cutting the hairs of other his whole life has just gone decomposed totally destroyed in that only so it's very amazed to see this point those who are actually according to their own which are entitled they are getting just like dogs they are actually following that kind of title from their whole life so what is their actual condition they don't have this kind of uh, actual introduction to their actual sarup no kind of smell of introduction is there inside their heart regarding their sarup tattva i just understand one story from here one person he is actually a master of a big factory, owner of a big factory. He is one person. And in Baliganj or some other place, Baliganj is a very big place. The Iljala. He is a, it is also Baliganj only. In Calcutta, you can just go one factory is there. At that one place, that got a very big factory there. He established that big factory there inside that. And and some Gaudiya Sadhu he has just came for the actual festival in order to do some bhiksha for the festival he just came there to his factory he said that you see Maharaj that I don't have any time at all that what you need you tell me you just take it actually you see that I want to just speak three to four words to with you no I don't have time he's speaking and whatever you need, you just take from here. I don't have time to just uh, hear your words. <laughs> He's speaking 
that our this is our actual rule this is my rule that if in order to just get something from others i definitely have to give to them without giving uh, to any them and you will be taking without giving this is not the actual rules and regulation at all for, for one person if you are just getting some madukari just want to do the actual mangal of him if you will not be doing his mangal then what can be possible if he just want to doesn't want to take from you anything then you don't need to take anything from him also it is very difficult propad has just told this which are to us you just need to follow that and from after 8 years this same brahmachari is just going from the same pathway and and unknowingly one person just from the grocery shop he just came and maharaj ji maharaj ji you come what happened who is actually calling me and he just went to that person who you who are you actually you haven't uh, 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 recognized me that who i am maharaj speaking that no i haven't recognized you he just maharaj just got sit there and just giving a nice place to sit maharaj i am that same person who is actually the owner of that factory where you came that same ma- ma- owner i am that of that same oh you are that same person oh my god that you have already told that you actually just uh, came to me that uh, i don't have any time i told you and whatever you have you can take away so this kind of ego i have have i am having no and now everything from my life everything is just getting vanquished from my life totally destroyed all rain everything that so much money i have taken from here and there everything is just gone into water and now i am just uh, every account and everything has just uh, taken all the money and now i have nothing with me everything destroyed and i have just taken a final decision that and if just below my below my uh, house i will just open one grocery shop and i have lot of time now and now you can sp- if you want to speak something to me then you please speak to me <laughs> now so false ego person is having see so this kind of false ego should not be there at all this is the conclusion so kya hua so what happened after that after that i have seen this otho toi srividwer बेश्वर लीला मुद्वहत किलो योग निद्रा भगवती तस्सो श्री रीव संगत पहले श्लोक द फर्स्ट श्लोक यू कैन जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इन द फर्स्ट श्लोक दैट ब्रह्मा दैट ब्रह्मा जी विष्णु ब्रह्मा विष्णु महेश यू हैव ऑलरेडी नो नो ऑलरेडी नो द 15 नंबर श्लोक आई हैव टोल्ड दैट विष्णु दैट फ्रॉम हिज नेबल पोर्शन he has just manifested brahma that from his south portion prajapati and hiranyagarmana hiranyama named that hiranyagarmana named prajapati that brahma is hiranya hiranyagarbha actually and from the kurchudesh it means that from the eyebrows in between the eyebrows left and right eyebrow that jyotirling mai that vishnu that shambhu is getting manifested that mool definitely vishnu is there so this same vishnu he is the actual maintainer same and prajapati is actually doing the creation bhagwan himself in the form of hiranyagarbha brahma is doing this manifestation of this creation he is taking the form of vishnu and all the time he is doing the actual creation of uh, this material creation and is taking the brahma swarup this is actually written in the shastras directly automatically is written in the shastras that bhagwan already told that i am I am taking the swarup of Vishnu in this whole material world I am just doing the actual maintenance and the same Brahma swarup I am taking I am doing the actual creation of this whole material world and I am taking the swarup of Shambhu I am doing the destruction of this whole material world all these three works 
ऑल द टाइम आई एम डूइंग दैट महाविष्णु दैट इट इज एक्चुअली नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम महाविष्णु दैट शंकर ब्रह्मा दैट इज एक्चुअली नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम महाविष्णु बट स्टिल दिस विष्णु तत्व वॉट इट इज देयर विच आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट कानून महाविष्णु दैट फ्रॉम हिज वाम अंग इट इज गेटिंग विष्णु इज गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड एंड फ्रॉम द नेवल पोर्शन दैट प्रजापति इज एक्चुअली इज हिरण्य गर्भ प्रजापति इज एक्चुअली हिरण्य गर्भ प्रजापति विच इन ईच एंड एवरी ब्रह्मांड ईच एंड एवरी ब्रह्मांड वॉट इज देयर दैट इज द एक्चुअल आदि कारण ऑफ दैट एंड द कुर्चा देश मीन्स दैट इन बिटवीन द टू आई ब्रोस दैट ज्योतिर्लिंग माई शंभू इज गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड आदि शंभू ज्योतिर्लिंग माई सनातन शंभू इज एक्चुअली दैट अंश विशेष वी कैन जस्ट फाइंड दैट मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ आदि शंभू इज गेटिंग देयर सो दैट इन नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम महाविष्णु दैट शंकर ब्रह्मा आर देयर that it is actually manifested from ah. mahavishnu shankar and brahma and this prajapati shambhu he is actually actually non different from mahavishnu it means that that is the adhikari dev that shriya shakti mai rakhna zaruri hai it is very important to just take that shriya shakti at the lotus feet that's why mahavishnu that actually getting that transformation from that shuddha sattva it that's why vam from the vam ang vishnu is getting uh, manifested vishnu is just taking the ishwar swarup and is just taking the form of parmatma swarup in the vedas what we are speaking that angusht angusht matram purush we are actually seeing that is the same mahavishnu that is the same vishnu in the form of parmatma is getting all the karmis that we are actually speaking yogeshwar narayan they are actually worshiping and all the yogis they are actually worshiping him as parmatma they are actually remembering him and want to just take the samadhi and and maybe next shloka sec 16 number shloka that ahankaratmak vishya how that egoistic tatv has come this actually has been automatically explained here vivedoir vivedoir shaili lila mudbahata kilo लीला मुद्वाहत किल योग निद्रा भगवती तस्ो श्री जीव संगता That same Mahavishnu Bhagwan, in each and every Brahman, that infinity Brahmans, Bhagwan actually just getting manifestation. That Brahman Pravishta, that Vishnu Prajapati Shambhu, these three is getting the three forms, three Shakti, and this maintenance, destruction, and creation Lila is doing all the time. That same Lila. That same Lila, according to the vichar, that it is Jodhia Mike Antargrath. It is inside this material creation, this kind of Lila. What we can see, that Shristi Shiti Palan, that that Vishnu Prajapati and Shambhu, these three Shakti are doing that. This Trivid, three Shakti, there's three kind of forms, different forms, in order to just maintain destruction and maintenance of the creation. He's doing. This is actually inside this material Maya. So, so, tucha, tucha bolke. Tucha means Bhagwan ka. Bhagwan, the actual nitya nija satya roop. That that Shri Ati Shakti, that Swarupanand. Bhagavati Yoga Nidra ka sat sang karta. It is just getting associated with that yoga nidra shakti. You haven't understand. It's very important. Be careful on this. Easily, I'll be explaining it. Just easily understand this. That maintenance of this creation and destruction of this. It is already there in this material creation. And how it can be directly? He can get the association of my. It's not at all possible. Maybe Brahma 
एंड शिवा दे आर सारंश दे आर एक्चुअली नॉन डिफरेंट अंश ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा एक्चुअली इज जस्ट रजोगुण फ्रॉम रजोगुण ही इज गेट मैनिफेस्टेड एंड शंकर इज मैनिफेस्टेड इन तमोगुण सो एक्चुअली देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम इन दैट डेफिनेटली दे कैन डू दैट दैट्स वाई महाविष्णु जस्ट बाय जस्ट बाय क्लोजिंग इज हाइज विद योग निद्रा दिस इज सम मीनिंग इज देयर ऑफ योग निद्रा पीपल आर थिंकिंग दैट भगवान इज एक्चुअली स्लीपिंग बट इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट भगवान एक्चुअली इज टेकिंग स्लीप इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड जस्ट काइंड ऑफ निद्रा वन थिंग इज देयर विच इज एक्चुअली तमोगुण वॉट वी आर स्लीपिंग इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड वैन वी आर टेकिंग अ नैप और स्लीप दिस निद्रा मीन स्लीपिंग वैन वी आर टेकिंग स्लीपिंग इट इज एक्चुअली इज तमोगुण अर्जुन हैड जस्ट गेट विक्ट्री ओवर दिस निद्रा दैट्स वाई अर्जुन इज नेम इज गुनाकेश दैट सेम भगवान That Bhagwan, that Tamogun inside Bhagwan, it is not at all possible to get. So Bhagwan is getting associated with Yog Nidra. Definitely, some inner meaning is there. Externally, we can see that Bhagwan is in sleeping form, but it's not like that. Yog Nidra, it means that Bhagwan having special kind of sleeping. Lot of Bhagwan in the Bhagwan Jima Puran, it is written regarding this actual practical proofs. So this uh, maintenance. creation and destruction it is already there in this material creation only so this is actually very much small very much little that's why bhagwan how actually is getting connected with it and bhagwan its connection of bhagwan is very much important but no connection is also very much important that if bhagwan will not uh, be not connected then how maintenance will be possible that's why bhagwan has done one thing that bhagwan has just that same swarup vishnu that same chid shakti swarup vishnu that which is the actual ansh of that chid shakti that that swarupan and samadhi mahi bhagwati that yog nidra he is getting associated with that it means what does it mean it means that that actual meaning behind is that that vivin ansh mai non different uh, that non different tatva that prajapati of vishnu and shambhu these two both are actually non different from bhagavat tatva and that non different uh, non different uh, egoistic tatva that just with the perverted reflection of that maya that it means the actual shadow of that chit shakti the actual it can just take the two forms shiva and brahma one is savitri and other is uma that is the actual shadow of two swarup that is brahma ji is uh, sar savitri and the other shankar shakti is uma shakti that is the actual shadow of chid shakti that can do the vilas association with that apara shakti only and only vishnu that only vishnu is the only the actual chid shakti swarupa red rama and shri shakti he is the actual pati he is the actual master of that shri it is not at all non different from that no it's not vibhinansh that it is actually the saransh of mahavishnu vishnu tattva so at the time of material creation what happens about this it's already been told एट द टाइम ऑफ क्रिएशन शिष्यक्षयाम महाविष्णु दैट काइंड ऑफ डिजायर महाविष्णु इज गेटिंग टू डू द क्रिएशन from the navel stem that one from the navel portion that swarna varna that brahma ji is getting manifested it is getting manifested from the from the navel portion hemam hema nalilam padma suvarna varna ek padmo ka janma that one lotus flower is getting uh, as taken birth 
and it is getting manifested from there and his navel portion his stem which we speak stem and one we are speaking kanta in bengali that same stem of that flower coming from the navel portion of mahavishnu that that same stem that is actually that the same brahma that the actual place of all the 14 material worlds in this all the 14 material worlds are there in that stem you understand the point that is one kind of stem that swim smarna padma that lotus flower that is the actual place of brahma that brahma lok and satya lok are present there on that lotus flower only and that swarna that so gold this swarna it is just not like gold silver it don't think like that swarna means chidabhas like that the actual sun shines look like gold only like swarna swarna means gold like gold in the kavya it is written that that swarna this word actually it's written this swarna word actually it's written that is called chidabhas that is called chidabhas this is one kind of accommodation of this 14 material worlds what we can see this is the that the top most amazing thing the actual srishti tatva i am actually speaking about that material creation tatva in front of you jeev ko swami pad also has written one kind of tika regarding this commentary jeev ko swami pad has written one commentary also regarding this on this very nice beautiful commentary and very top most uh, vishay point is there in order to understand this जीव को स्वामी पाद हैज रिटर्न ततश्च शिक्षिक्षयाम इति नालम नालयुक्तम तत् हेम नलिनम ब्रह्मनु जन्मो सयनयो स्थानात् लोक इति अर्थ अर्थात् मींस दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ अकोमोडेशन दैट ऑल ब्रह्मा एक्चुअली हैज मैनिफेस्टेड हिमसेल्फ हियर फ्रॉम द नेवल पोर्शन and inside that lotus flower and that stem all the 14 material worlds it is all this material world we, that all 14 material world is getting that accommodation inside that stem only and he can understand that and swarn means that just like gold just like gold it is compare it is compared with gold here actually it is written in the commentary that in that swarn bhos swarn word there is one kind of chidabhas in that that in that swarna word there is one kind of chidabhas because brahma ji and all the 14 worlds this in this material world is actually coming in this material world only so that's why speaking chidabhas means that the idea is getting crystal clear by that chidabhas it is not at all chid it is just a perverted reflection of that chid this all brahma and all this boating material worlds that seven up these are all seven upper planets and there are seven uh, down pla- down planetary systems as well these are all uh, down planetary systems seven down and seven upper planetary systems so these are all these are actually all coming in this 14 material world they are they cannot become uh, they are not at all transcendental they are actually material world they are having connection with matter and after that in the 19 number shlok it is written सज्जो मानो अथो भगवान आदि पुरुष जो जयन मायाया देवो जोग निद्रा अकल्पय क्या 
प्रयोगात च विभिन्नानि पृथक पृथक चित शक्तिया शज्जो मानो अथो भगवान आदि पुरुषः जो जयन मायाया देवो जोग निद्राम अकल्पया अभी नाओ दिस कितिय पोतेज मरुद्बम दिस कितिय पोतेज मरुद्बम दिस कितिय पोतेज मरुद्बम दिस फाइव एलिमेंट्स आर देर कितिय पोतेज मरुद्बम this uh, and after that that uh, material creation that from mahatattva it is getting uh, separated and how satura jogutam gun and from the rajogun satogun so in three dominating deities are getting manifested and how that gyan indriya and all the material sense organ and five elements getting manifested and how they are getting uh, individually manifested from that different three dominating deities this this when actually is getting manifested after that manifestation when its mixing is very much important means that when the material creation is getting manifested that between others one and other that kind of mixing is very much important in that mixing of that material creation they were actually all failure in getting that mixing of that uh, tatv they cannot mix that at all and after that what happened and after that what happened slowly steadily that bhagwan just by getting the help of bhagwan they are actually just prayed to bhagwan that you just do kripa bhagwan kare to bhagwan speaking that i have given everything to you from mahatatva adhikari prenominate in dt is panch gyan indriya panch karm indriya and all panch tan matra five elements all 25 elements also have given why actually it's not done everything is there but still we are unable we are actually failure to mix that all things and we cannot start that material creation we are actually um, not at all eligible to do the actual material creation so you just please help us they are asking to bhagwan praying to bhagwan it means that this kind of mixing between all these tatva that is very much important that aliruddha bhav that different different kind of categorization is there that from the mool bhut chakar it means panch bhut all are actually different and in order to collect all this and to mix up everything and just need to harmonize that slowly steadily and yes, because of the lack of harmonization they cannot uh, actually start that process of material creation that's why bhagwan has given everything in this uh, five element but still they cannot start that process there is one name called samavai means that they cannot harmonize at all just by the not harmonizing the things properly they cannot understand uh, uh, can start the material creation adi purush bhagwan mahavishnu that checking the shri ochit shakti by that the association of that yog nidra he is actually just maintaining the actual yo- maya shakti he is actually getting control over maya shakti that different different kind of uh, tatva that that he is get collecting all the different different that and mixing that all tatva and that kind of material creation has just started that just by the grace of bhagwan and just by doing that and after just by getting this job done bhagwan is in whatever condition bhagwan is there in this material creation there is no kind of connection at all bhagwan is having with this material world no association at all with prakriti भगवान इज एक्चुअली प्रकृति परे ही इज बियॉन्ड एनी मटीरियल क्रिएशन तत्व भगवान ही इज एक्चुअली बियॉन्ड दिस प्रकृति तत्व हाउ हाउ वॉट ही विल डू ही ही एज जस्ट भगवान हैज जस्ट हेल्प इन द मटीरियल क्रिएशन एंड आफ्टर दैट नॉट टू गेट इन नॉट टू गेट इन अटैचमेंट विद माया डायरेक्टली he is actually staying in this material world still bhagwan is non not at all touched with maya there is no connection of maya with this bhagwan at all still bhagwan is there in this material world but still he is out of that that's why mahaprabhu has given one example regarding this like all the five elements it is there externally internally both you can see that five elements internally also those five elements and outside also these five elements are present internally is also there five elements and externally also five elements are there everywhere but still hai na 
that's why mahavishnu is just helping in all the activities and after that mahavishnu has taken a decision that's why am kid shakti he'll be getting the association of yog nidra he has just getting into the sleeping form in a form of yog nidra and he is just getting to remain untouched by maya that's why he has just uh, bhagwan has just uh, actually bhagwan is actually away from all the prakriti tattva so that's why bhagwan is taking the association of yog nidra in order to get detached from the material creation fully but still he is there in this material creation that bhagwan is nirgun and his devotees are also nirgun so this uh, panjikaran in that vishay what i have already told you at the time of creation how bhagwan has helped all the other demigods and how bhagwan just taking this that is sambhog swarup yog maya that taking the association of yog nidra and is just getting detached from this material creation after the creation of this material material prakriti how actually is getting away this kind of uh, the actual meaning the actual meaning of this is that je bhagwan that bhagwan maya dakshina prakriti swayati characharam aap sune honge you have already heard that in geeta bhagwan has already told this that mahavishnu about mahavishnu i have already told you and about garbhadakshay mahavishnu shirodakshay mahavishnu each and every vishnu there is no kind of connection of maya with maya all these vishnu tatva there is no kind of any connection of vishnu tatva with maya devi at all so this geeta shloka i am just picking up the actual conclusive portion we just need to understand geeta ka tatpuri the actual uh, re- uh, conclusive part of geeta is that that maybe although that chid shakti is just like shadow maya shakti just be careful what i am speaking this geeta actual conclusive part this is the actual the actual con- conclusive part of geeta is that that at all that although that chid shakti that actual uh, shadow shakti of maya that first it was nishtala because mahaprabhu has already told that prakriti is getting that kind of shadow form that prakriti is actually shadow form of that chid shakti what is that ye nishchal hai this is actually nishchal this is inert in nature no life it's she's it's lifeless inactive this is inactive completely inactive it is just matter you understand the point what i'm speaking this prakriti what we can see ajagala sthal it means it is doesn't have any it is inert in nature it's lifeless this is nishchal but that uh, that kind of upadan anch that different different kind of it is not related to each other it is not at all harmonized before just by the actual ichha by the actual will of krishna just by the actual will of krishna that from mahavishnu that by the power of mahavishnu that same maya shakti that nimitta ansh that that he has just put a beam of light on that shadow maya so that previous jeevas what were there in the previous kalp that all kind of sanskar he has just manifested there that all the jeevas are getting into the womb of maya just by his own um, transcendental glance that by the will of krishna that material creation get manifested that by the actual beam of light coming from the mahavishnu's uh, eyes transcendental eyes that same that upadan cause and effect ansh nimit and upadan ansh it is actually getting inside the womb of maya devi and in the form of uh, activities we can sh- see in the that in science what we are speaking that cause and effect theory we are speaking that the same thing so by the actual krishna uh, kripa of krishna it is actually getting uh, uh, the by the will of krishna it is getting uh, accelerated and by the mahavishnu's uh, transcendental eyes this um, creation cause and effect ansh cause and effect theory comes into play and in the form of uh, 
एक्चुअल मटीरियल क्रिएशन ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दिस काइंड दिस इज एक्चुअली सेल्फ मैनिफेस्टेड फ्राम द इन्फिनिटी टाइम इट इज डूइंग गोइंग ऑन दैट मटीरियल क्रिएशन मैनिफेस्टेशन डन बाय महाविष्णु बट स्टिल आफ्टर डूइंग सो मच एक्टिविटी सो मच डूइंग्स आफ्टर डूइंग सो मच थिंग्स भगवान स्वयं इज एक्चुअली नॉन डिफरेंट एंड इज गेटिंग डिटैच फ्रॉम दिस भैरंगा माया एंड इज दे आर ऑल द टाइम एसोसिएटेड विद दैट योग निद्रा ट्रांसीडेंटल ट्रांसीडेंटल शक्ति दैट्स वाई भगवान इज नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग एसोसिएटेड विद शक्ति सो दैट वो लॉट ऑफ मटीरियल क्रिएशन एंड इन्फिनिटी इंडिविजुअल्स आर गेटिंग इन द वूम ऑफ माया बट स्टिल भगवान इज नॉट एट ऑल इंटरेस्टेड इन एसोसिएशन विद माया शेडो माया दैट्स वाई एम चिद शक्ति निद्रा युक्त भगवान जस्ट बाय क्लोजिंग इज आईज इन अ स्लीपिंग पोस्चर दैट योग निद्रा ही इज गेटिंग द एसोसिएशन ऑफ दैट चिद शक्ति ऑफ दैट योग निद्रा एंड इज गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड इन दैट फॉर्म ओनली एंड दैट सेम योग निद्रा और योग माया वॉट वी आर स्पीकिंग हेयर दैट योग निद्रा और योग माया वॉट वी आर स्पीकिंग इन दैट वर्ड वॉट डू यू मीन बाय दैट द एक्चुअल थिंग दैट ऑल द टाइम वी आर स्पीकिंग योग माया योग निद्रा दिस बाय वॉट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड बाय दैट दैट मीन्स दैट योग निद्रा और योग माया इन दैट वर्ड वी जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट वेरी कन्फर्मली दैट चिद शक्ति एक्चुअल बिहेवियर ऑफ चिद शक्ति वॉट इज दैट द एक्चुअल बिहेवियर ऑफ चिद शक्ति इट इज एक्चुअली मैनिफेस्टेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस बट स्टिल दट चिद शक्ति दैट मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ चिद शक्ति बाय द एक्चुअल नेचर ऑफ दैट शेडो शक्ति विच इज जस्ट अ कॉमन वर्ड यू अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट वन आई स्पीकिंग दैट योग निद्रा और योग माया बाय दिस वर्ड वॉट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट चिद शक्ति द एक्चुअल बिहेवियर ऑफ चिद शक्ति इज गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड द एक्चुअल बिहेवियर ऑफ चिद शक्ति इज गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड बट स्टिल द एक्चुअल शेडो बिहेवियर ऑफ द शेडो स्वरूप ऑफ दैट चिद शक्ति द शेडो ऑफ दैट चिद स्वरूप इट इज ऑल मटीरियल बिकॉज इट इज actually related to that behavior of chit shakti because the behavior of chit shakti is not at all material at all the shadow the actual yog nidra is actually the part of chit shakti so that's why jad tamamaya has no connection with that yog yog nidra at all so krishna when krishna just be careful what i'm speaking bhagwan shri krishna when he is just getting jad tamamaya some important uh, uh, wish he was want to manifest that uh, prapanch etc we can see of this material creation rajas tam wish what bhagwan used to manifest when krishna wants to manifest that uh, raju tam any kind of behavior of related to raju and tam gun he just want to manifest that in front of her then definitely the actual shadow of that chid shakti comes into play that that shyo chid shakti the actual manifestation of that power that kind of shadow shakti maya he is getting associated with that and he is actually just starting the actual process the actually is getting getting started up he just want to he is actually attaining that goal that is called yog krishna when krishna when he is actually manifesting his own will that i want to just want to just manifest some raju and tamogun mixture of that i want to do some material creation then automatically that his chid shakti parikram by the power of that chid shakti bhagwan is that nischala which is inert in nature maya shakti he is actually just getting by doing the yog with that uh, uh, shadow maya he is getting attaining his goal completely that is called yog yog nidra here actually there are two kinds of realization are there here in this two kinds of realization are there you can understand that feel that one is vaikunth nishth priti one is vaikunth nishth priti and second is jad nishth priti pratishthit niti first bhagwan shri krishna and bhagwan shri krishna's all saransh or that should the vivinansh as well non different portions as well of bhagwan that krishna's that saransh and non different ansh and vishnu tat what is there krishna ka sansho aur vishuddh vivinansh and vishuddh vivinansh also of krishna vishuddh vivinansh means that that the jivas vishuddh vivinansh jivas 
with that also there is no touch of maya at all that is called vishuddha vibhinansh jivas what actually written here that bhagwan shri krishna swayam he, that is the swayam saransh of bhagwan shri krishna and shuddha vibhinansh jiv shakal jiv shakti they are actually all the time all kind of vagun nishth pratiti they are actually feeling that because they don't have any kind of connection with maya at all and uh, all those material jivas who are actually getting attracted to this material maya that they are in that same same uh, actual same uh, uh, same work they are actually feeling attraction towards material creation and those who are materially bonded jivas in their actual realization that jivas actually getting the same material bondage in those that in those same materially created uh, goals and uh, that kind of avar and the actual swarup of all the jivas just be careful what i am speaking that all the jivas the actual realization of the actual realization of all the material bonded jivas the actual material bondage of the material bonded jivas the realization that kind of chid jagat the realization of those material bonded jivas that kind of chid anubhav that transcendental realization they want to get there is question mark in that that is called yog nidra that same thing that is actually the actual prabhav effect of bhagavat chit shakti that you can see is the actual effect of bhagavat chit shakti that is actual prabhav of bhagavat chit shakti that same tatva and thus after that we'll be getting in that uh, different swarup we will be just uh, uh, different form we'll be discussing that after that jeev goswami pad has written in the commentary the what is the actual meaning the actual meaning of which is written in the commentary it's that ko jeevatmak sho samasti jivasho pravadam bhaktum punah karanarno karanarno nidhi sainos stitiyo skando uktano sharinim srishti kriyam जोजनातरहतया जोग निद्रम भगवान इज एक्चुअली एक्सेप्टिंग योग निद्रा बाई हिम सेल्फ भगवान डायरेक्टली इज डोंट वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट डायरेक्टली विद दिस ऑल थिंग्स भगवान स्पीकिंग दिस पॉइंट यू ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टैंड नो दैट इन चतुश्लोक भागवत इट इज रिटन चैतन्य चेत वेरी नाइसली इट इज रिटन देयर जगत बसी जगत अमाते पहले बताया द फर्स्ट एक्चुअली इट्स रिटन देयर दैट आई एम एक्चुअली देयर इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड एंड मटेरियल वर्ल्ड इज इन मी बट आफ्टर दैट भगवान स्पीकिंग what you can understand from this point now first bhagwan speaking that i am in this material world and this whole material world is in this me and after that bhagwan speaking that i am not at all in this material world and this material world is not inside me this is a very surprising shakti that is achinta shakti only by achinta shakti it is possible that all this kind of uh, arrangements is made by bhagwan and bhagwan is actually untouched by maya all the time this is a very top most strange point to understand very uh, strange point to understand this point very very strange after that bhagwan shri rajiv goswami pad also speaking and and in the 20 number 20th number shloka it's written vatuvani eva pravivesha swayam guham 
गुहां प्रविष्टे तस्मिंस्तु जीवात्मा प्रतिबुद्धते ध्यान दे जस्ट बी केयरफुल ऑन दिस पॉइंट व्हाट आई एम स्पीकिंग फॉर दोस पीपल that in the bhajan that kind of ananya nishta they are having top most nishta that apart from that other persons outside persons cannot understand these points what i am speaking it is very much difficult to understand all these kinds of points that those who want those who want to understand bhagwan they can know the actual tat that they are not all dependent on material studies at all whatever studies we are doing in this material will all useless here actually it is written in the next shloka that eva pravivesh swayam guham guham pravishte tasmin stu jivatma pratibuddhate mane kya hai what does it mean actually pehle jo bata the first shlok which i have already told you that all different different kind of tattva when you are harmonizing all those tattva that harmonization of the tatva that infinity brahmand in order to just manifest that that swayam it means that is taking the form of virat vigraha in this material world you understand the point what i'm speaking that all kind of different different tatva after just getting inside that that infinity infinity mike brahmand that it virat vigraha that after getting inside getting the uh, virat vigraha sthal inside that he is getting manifested there at that time at that time the previous at that time the previous pralay the previous pralay destruction the previous uh, time that destruction was done in the previous kalp at that time that that all those jivas who they are actually getting uh, back into bhagwan and they are actually into the nidra swarup nidra gata means that they are not sleeping it's not like that but still the actual meaning of this is that that from the previous kalp that infinity jivas who are there that according to their own karm phal they are getting that and they are actually just uh, that uh, mahavishnu inside mahavishnu they are getting uh, manifested inside mahavishnu they are all the time just staying inside mahavishnu for infinity period this is called this is what you, what do you call this this is called nidragata means that one person yeah, that uh, he is sleeping in the night time and after sleeping he doesn't know what actually has done and in the morning time he just gets up get up again from the sleep so the previous so the previous destruction or pralay that previous after one kalp after some pralay that pralay that infinity jeeves are taking their own sanskar and they are just taking a new gross body that inside their sanskar is automatically there they still like kya kahe what you speak about that uh, nidra gat is the actual word to speak so because because jeev can't uh, remember anything it but still it is there in the lively form inside maybe actually just like a, in the dream he is getting lost in a dream so it's like that but that infinity brahmand infinity material creation and brahmand that inside that virat vigraha when that jeevatma is getting manifested inside that that previous pralay at the previous destruction at that kalp the previous sanskar automatically just get lively when they get a new uh, subtle uh, gross body why because now in the in this material creation all those jeevas they also have some function no that all those chitkan jeevs that in this material world if they will not stay at all then they will be just uh, senseless they will be without any life if the chitkan jeev are not if if this chitkan jeevs are not in the in this material world or in any material creation if they are, do not 
if they are not at all then what is the actual meaning of this prapanch what is the actual meaning of this whole material creation no use there is no use of this material creation at all that all those chinmay jivas are there and uh, the chinmay jiva are actually all the time manifested in each and every object so that is why it is meaningful that's why this is meaningful it becomes meaningful otherwise everything will become senseless no use of anything else like mahaprabhu ji actually speaking that uh, one piece of iron when you are putting it in fire up for a very long time you are putting it in fire and uh, this uh, fire the actual property of fire he is actually taking the property of fire that the actual property of fire that iron piece is just taking it that uh, it is uh, orange flame is there and it's just like very red like in the his flame is very red in color but uh, inside still definitely fire should not be there but but when you are actually putting that in the fire that steel or iron piece then definitely he is getting the property of that fire similarly in each and every jeev atma when actually going is getting manifested in each and every object that our body inside our body that chinmay atma is there but that our body has just got the tadatma tha that chinmay atma that kind of chinmay tha transcendentalness of the transcendental atma and jeev atma according to the previous karm phal what kind of gross body they will be getting presently in this material body this chinmay atma is there definitely because of that chit bhav is there inside his body otherwise it's impossible maybe my body is of five animates but he is actually getting death transcendentalness in this inert body and i am thinking that this is my and i and mind concept is coming that false ego is coming inside us so this this guha 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 what actually this word actually speaking here this guha actually this guha word the one secret is secrecy is there the lot of meanings are there where the actual word is there their word that word should also be the meaning actual meaning in the lot of shastras also it is written in the shastras in the shastras lot of places it is written there in the shastras lot of places it's written there different different uh, words and different 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 meaning in the shastras at some places that uh, aprakat tra- disappearance leela is actually uh, spoken there and sometimes vyasti antaryami that place there actually uh, it is written there and sometimes the jivas inside their heart that each and every jivas what is there inside their heart that secret place is there inside their heart that is called but the mool which are actually behind this is that that in general if you go that that which is very hidden and secret that is called guha that is the actual meaning of word guha that uh, the previous kalpa when the jivatma is getting uh, the cross body and at the time of mahapralay when brahma ji actually at the time of brahma ji at the time of pralay he is actually getting inside the body of uh, uh mahavishnu in a sleepy place that according to their previous sanskar that according to the previous karm phal what they have done they are getting uh, getting into the different different uh, material infinity material creation they are taking different different uh, infinity uh, body but if they will not be taking this gross body then how they can get the actual result of the karm phal so that's why they are getting their uh, material body according somebody actually just getting the body of snake somebody taking the body of horse somebody taking the body of body of elephant and different different bodies according to their own karm phal they are taking in this uh, material creation according to their previous karm phal that according to the previous karm phal that previous sanskar they are taking different different gross body and they are getting manifested in this material creation different different material creations they are getting manifested they are getting uh, appeared in this material creation and after that according to their uh, karm phal they are they are doing karm phal and according to that they are getting again the result of that and again they are actually leaving that gross body again they are taking up the body so that's why yesterday i was actually i tomorrow i will be discussing more on this point so that you can get a clear uh, uh, clear conception about this the material creation tat that in one kalpasthan how that jeevatma 
that infinity jivatmas that according to their or karm phal that inside this whole material wish they are just taking the form of a nidra nidra means just like sleeping they are actually in that unconscious state and when the actual srishti uh, creation is getting uh, done at that time just by the beam of light of uh, transcendental beam of mahavishnu that every jeev is actually getting inside the womb of the material maya actually everyone is getting into the material womb of uh, inside the womb of material maya. and this that chit gun when actually entering the prakriti that chit was to entering the prakriti just like a steel i have already compared that steel iron piece with the fire when it is actually put into fire every property of fire actually getting in all properties getting into uh, that iron piece is getting when it is put into that fire when in that matter our, mat, our body is matter it is matter but this matter it is nothing it is inert but when that chid atma actually is there present inside this matter material body because of that jeev atma that our body is just getting oneness with this chid atma and each and every limb and sense organs each and everything is getting some kind of uh, kind of consciousness and some kind of realization it is actually showing some effect he is showing and it looks like that our body is everything for us it looks like that only that that so much oneness we can get this with this matter that we are thinking that this body is everything for us that our money property fame name position whatever we are having that kamini kanchan what we are having everything me and mine this conception actually we are getting and this false ego we are getting inside our body all the time and this jeev atma is just getting entangled in this material maya because of that and apart from that there is no other pathway open for us so whatever be the case today we will be just uh, just uh, finishing up today and just forgive me for i am not be going uh, ahead and slowly steadily by your body speech and mind you completely have to surrender and you have to listen it completely bimohito ayam janu ishamaya tadiya yatam na bhajati hi anarthadri सुखायो दुखो प्रभवे हेशु सज्जते गृहेशु जशित पुरुषस्य वंचिता वाचकल्पतुर्वश्य कृपा सिंधु पतितान पावन भो वैष्णव्यो